Once found only in Italian markets and specialty grocers, mascarpone can now be found right next to the cream cheese in most supermarkets. And Jack is gonna tell us which national brand is worth picking up. I remember as a kid, you know, my grandmother would make a special trip, my Italian grandmother, mm -hmm. to go get mascarpone at an Italian market to make tiramisu. Mm -hmm. She would stir it into polenta, use it in risotto. So it was sweet and savory. I brought three of the samples here. We tasted four brands, one from Italy and three that were domestically made. Honestly, they were all pretty delicious. That's good. Yes, yeah, so uh, you've got some <laughs> nice tasting ahead of you. Mascarpone is an acid set cheese. So it is simply cream that they add, usually citric acid to, and then they cook it so that you're driving off some of the liquid and you end up with this luscious, creamy, velvety, slightly sweet, mm -hmm. slightly tangy. Our favorite had that best balance between the sweetness and the tanginess. The big difference was some are all cream and some are cream and milk. Our winner was all cream, and that means it has more lactose, mm. the natural sugars in dairy, and so it has a little bit more of that sweetness. But the differences were fairly small, tasted straight from the container. When we then made a tiramisu, we made a fresh fruit tart where mm -hmm. we did a mascarpone filling. The differences really started to fade. I mean, if you add a cup of sugar to all of these, they're gonna taste pretty much the same level of sweetness. Right. There are textural differences. One was a little grainy. That's because it had a non-milk solids added to it to give okay. it a little bit more of a cream cheese texture. Traditionally in Italy, mascarpone would be a little softer than you know Philadelphia style sure. American cream cheese. One was a little looser. Mm -hmm. uh, it used a different acid to set the cheese, but those really felt like minor differences. So, any comments about the three samples in front of you? Well, this one right in the middle is a little too thick. I'm just thinking about making tiramisu. It would be awfully hard to actually use that and incorporate it into a recipe. It does feel a little bit pasty to me. Okay. This one, which I could swear is mayonnaise just from looking at it. I quite like that. It's, I think, the tangiest of the three. I think this one might be my favorite, though. It has a really nice balance. I always think of mascarpone as not being too tangy. This one also is kind of buttery, which I really like. Yeah, this should be less tangy than mm -hmm. creme fraiche or sour cream, which are more on the acidic side yes. than where this is somewhere between tangy and sweet. So I'm gonna say one, two, three for me. Okay, let's start with your favorite All right. is actually the winner. Yay, uh, finally. The, the, <laughs> yeah, the Palangi, which is the only import. This is from Italy. Okay. It's the only one that's made with only cream and no milk, so it had more natural sugars, and it is a little sweeter than the other brands. It's cleaner, too. It's delicious. Yep. Wanna go with number two? Uh, you picked the runner-up. This right. is uh, from Vermont. This is a little tangier. Mm -hmm. It's a little looser. It's a delicious choice. It's very good. Be great with really sweet berries as well. And this is a good choice. It's the Galbani. It was number three mm -hmm. in the rankings. This was the one that did have a little bit of the milk solids, so it's stiffer, had a hint of graininess. That honestly, once you start putting sugar and eggs in to make tiramisu, you're probably not going to notice that, but <laughs> tasted straight from the container. It is a little bit different than our top two choices. Yeah, it's always good to have a tasting where you can't really lose. These are all winners, but you're really the winner. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Well, if you want to be a winner, go out and get Palingi Mascarpone. And it's $5.99 for an 8.8 ounce container, and it's delicious. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.